What up? This time the video is about the Japanese tea ceremony and matcha. Uh, a lot of, I'm pretty sure everyone's heard of uh, matcha green tea. You can buy it at Tea Havana now, it's like $30 an ounce or something like that, it's ridiculous, but you can get it in America. Um, it's like the genuine Japanese green tea. And uh, if you don't know that much about it, it's extremely good for you, um, even more than normal tea, because, well, first of all, it's in a powder form, and the reason for that is because it's the whole leaf, like, ground into a powder. Like other tea, you just, like, drink the leaf juices, but matcha is actually the leaf. So, that's pretty exciting. Um, a little bit of history on Japanese tea ceremonies. They've been around for... Before, I don't know, there's really no way of saying exactly how long, but a very, very long time. What makes the tea ceremony so amazing to Japan, Japan is and always has been a hierarchical society. Everyone knows exactly who their superiors and inferiors are at all social situations, um, except for the tea ceremony. Um, first of all, the tea ceremony is called Sado in Japanese, and um, when it was first, when it was like popular back in the old days, the tea houses that everyone would meet at, every entrance was a little door. I mean, almost like a doggy door. And um, the significance of that was, no matter who you were, a poor, you know, Japanese version of Aladdin, you know, stealing bread and hanging with monkeys, that kind of person, or a daimyo, a samurai, a uh, shogun. Whether you're royalty or poor, it doesn't matter. Everyone has to bow their head and crawl into the tea room. And on top of that, you're not allowed to bring your katana into the tea room because, like I said, the door is so small. So you have to leave your sword on the outside and then enter. And basically, it just means in the world of tea, everyone is equal. Another cool little aspect about the tea ceremony is not only is it about drinking delicious tea, it's about looking at the pottery. Because there is some serious craftsmanship that goes into Japanese teacups. And also on the walls of the tea room, uh, there would be actual paintings. And usually both um, the art on the teacup and the art on the walls is um, representative of the current season. So if you go to the tea house in summer, you're going to see nice... I don't know, pictures of the beach and stuff like that, I don't know, but summer images. So my girlfriend and I um, decided to reenact a tea ceremony, so if you want to do it yourself, you know how now. Actual Japanese tea ceremonies don't take place at a dinner table, but there was really no place to sit on the ground in my house, so we did it on the dinner table. But when you do a real tea ceremony, you sit on your knees, like this, in seiza. This is, it's called seiza in Japanese. And you sit on the floor, so just... Imagine that we're sitting on the floor like this, all proper like. Hope you enjoy.
しいお茶をありがとうございましたこちらのお茶はどういったお茶ですか今日のお茶でございますねこちらのお茶碗はどういったお茶碗ですか夏のお花火になりますありがとうございますまたいらっしゃいませー<laughs> so now you know the real way to make matcha green tea. Aren't you lucky? But seriously, like, I got some matcha from Tea Havana from the actual store. They brewed it for me, and it was crappy grass water. It was so watered down. So go out and get yourself some matcha and have a grand old time. I'll be here making more videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you around.